If you live in Scotland, chances are you live in an urban area. Seven out of 10 people do. We often think of nature as being in the countryside, as if it has no place in our towns and cities. Well, that needs to change. It's perfectly possible for wildlife to thrive alongside us. We just need to adjust our thinking. We seem to have a fixation with neat and tidy. Lawns meticulously mowed and so-called weeds eradicated, hedges neatly trimmed, fallen leaves hoovered up, and now, even plastic grass. Nature doesn't like neat and tidy. There's nowhere to hide and nothing to eat. Nature needs nooks, crannies, and hollows. Nature needs complexity, not simplicity. A patch of brambles, nettles, or long grass can provide food and cover for bees, beetles, and butterflies. Trees provide nest sites for birds, and hedgerows create natural corridors for animals like hedgehogs to move freely. Ponds and wet grassy areas are great for frogs, bats, and dragonflies. All this variety, all this messiness, is what nature needs. So can we put away the mower for spring? Can we resist trimming back every loose branch? Can we not see past clearing up every fallen leaf? And do we really have to poison every weed, so many of which are fantastic for pollinators? If we allow wildness back into our urban spaces, it will repay us many times over. Trees clean our air, dead leaves enrich our soils, ponds and wet areas reduce flooding. And for most people, just being close to birds, trees and wildflower meadows is good for our health and well-being. Exposure to nature is proven to reduce stress, boost attention and improve memory. Nature is more than just a decoration. Without healthy, living systems, we can't survive. Rewilding doesn't mean turning our urban spaces into a wilderness. It means finding ways to coexist with and enjoy the benefits of nature. So come on, let's all help turn our urban jungle from grey to green.